everybody, Eat the Mouse here, and we're back playing Minecraft! Now, I finally got back here after I died from that witch, and when I got here, she wasn't here at all! She's totally gone! I don't know if that means that I managed to get her, or she fell in this lava, or if she's still in the mine somewhere. But I I'm gonna try and, and get out of here as quick as I can, so let's read this book. Getting a little hot there, Pipsqueak. Ha 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 ha! Hmm. He's really rude. He has no idea what I did to get here. It was really tough. Let's see if you can figure out where you have to go next. It's going to be really hard. It's going to be really hard. Well, at least I know how to spell going. This is going? That's not right at all. This Whoever's writing these books is not very smart. Okay, let's see. Clue one. I stand on solid ground, but there is sand all around me. Standing on solid ground, but sand all around me. Well, my immediate thing, the, the thing I immediately think of is a deserted island with one palm tree, but I don't know if there are any of those in the, but, but let's keep going. Clue number two, I cast a cool shadow for the citizens of my town. Okay, well, it's someone who must be pretty tall and in a town. Okay, if you took a swing at my head, you wouldn't be able to hurt me. I wonder why I I wouldn't be able to hurt them. I've got a lot of knowledge in my head. Well, uh, one of the bigger things in Pyramid City is the knight. And he's really tall, so even if I tried to hit him in the head, I couldn't reach him. And knights are pretty smart. I'm pretty smart, so... That, that seems pretty, like a pretty good idea. Okay, let's take the book and we'll head out. So let's see, um, oh, some diamond boots and milk. That's a lot of milk. We'll take some milk and the cooked mutton and some of the potions. If I encounter another one of those scary witches, I'm gonna need a lot of potions of healing. So let's see, okay. Oh, oh, ha, ah, ha, ah, ah, skeleton, get out of here, Mr. Skeleton. Uh, uh, oh, I'm so glad he was not as strong as the witch was, because she was really tough. Let's hurry up and put on these boots just to be safe. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we're going to get out the mine cart and see. Okay, good, I got it. And we're going to ride it all the way back up to the top. Okay, oh. Another minecart. Get out of there. We got places to go. All right, we're heading up to see the night. So cool. The coolest, even. Well, I hope that's the right answer, because there's no deserted island here. I did not build a deserted island in this world. <gasps> what if it's something the writer of the book built, though? Oh, man, I I'm sure I'm right, though. The night is so tall. That makes so much sense. All right, okay. Let's see, all the way here. And we're back up, awesome, okay. Let's see, and we're going up here, and all the way up here, and we're back out. Oh, I don't have anything to climb. Well, I don't know, let's see. So we've got the fountain and the knight, he's so tall. He's really tall. I guess if I try and hit him in the head, I really can't. Oh, there was ladders that was in that chest and I didn't grab them. Hmm, well maybe I can just build my way up real quick. I can just rebuild anything I don't want to. So maybe, well, there's a lot of stuff here. Let's see, maybe we can just dismantle this knight a little bit. Oh, he's really tough though. Hmm. All right, let's go and grab the rest of that stuff again real quick. I'll be right back guys, hold on a second. Hey guys, I'm back. I managed to get back down into the mine and grab everything I left there. As you can see, I have a bunch of stones and a bunch of ladders. So hopefully, I'll be able to get up to the top of the night now. So clearly, I'm supposed to go for his head. I can't swing for his head from down here, but I should be able to when I get up to the top. So we're going to get to building. I'm going to get close. We'll be at the tip of his sword and we'll build up from there. And hopping up, we're hopping all the way up. Getting down might be a bit trickier though. Hmm, maybe I should build the rest of the way with these ladders. That might be, if I step back, there we go. And we can just head up. 
All right, going up. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. Huh. We'll just. Oh. Oh. Oh, I fell and that kind of hurt, man. Okay, we're gonna have uh, another potion sip, real quick. Really tasty and delicious. And okay, we're maybe not gonna build up that way. Maybe building up this way would be a little easier. Hmm. Okay. So we'll put some right here and head on up. It's been a long time since I've just built straight up. Come on, come on, we're gonna, okay, there we go. And we're back on the ground because I definitely did not see where I was going. Man, staying on ladders is sometimes really tough, but okay, so, oh, 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 oh. all right, okay, hmm. Maybe I'm gonna step all the way back here and build straight up with this stone. There we go. And jumping stone, jumping stone. And if we need to, we can build closer to the night. See, look, we're already higher than we were before. All right, so we're at the hilt of his sword. We're up even higher now. Okay, okay, we're getting close to his head. I can see it. Okay, and we still have 26 left, so let's be a little bit more careful here. We're gonna build a little platform, and obviously I'll have to fix anything that I build around this night. I can't leave Pyramid City without anything cool to look up to. So let's see, and uh, jump, and jump, and we'll go all the way to the top, and aha, we did it, guys! And look how high up we are. We're even higher than that building and the hotel and everything. So let's see. Let's see what this book has to say. Wow, look at this guy. You got all the way up here. Thank you. I'm pretty impressed with myself as well. Good luck getting back down. Uh, yeah, that might be a little tough. Did you know that feather falling will only allow you to fall 30 blocks without dying? Guess how high up you are now. I guess it's over 30 blocks. Hmm. I guess I should come up with some hints for the next location if you are able to get down, huh? This guy is really rude. I, I'm starting to really not like him. If I was a villager, I would really love living here. Okay. Villagers are really easy to please. They'll live kind of anywhere. Uh, this place existed before all the towns and cities that you built. Huh. My house smells like smoke, and I'm always bothering my friends with all the banging. That's kind of different from Clue 2. Well, Clue 2, this place existed before all the towns and cities that you built. The only place that is still here that I didn't make is Portia City. It was where all the villagers lived, and I didn't want to mess with them. We actually stopped by there earlier. My house smells like smoke, and I'm always bothering my friends with all the banging. So this must be someone that lives in Portia City. Because of my job, I burn myself at least once per day. Ooh, that doesn't sound good at all. Though there isn't water very close to town, the town is named after a city by the sea. Okay, so it's definitely Portia City. That makes a lot of sense. My house smells like smoke, and I'm always burning myself. Well, a cook would burn themselves a lot, but their, their house would never smell of smoke. It would smell of delicious food, but banging. Oh, maybe it's the blacksmith making like swords and stuff. I, I think that's a good place to start. We'll take the book and head over that way. And we've got the diamond helmet. Nice, we'll put that on. Potion of healing. We can replace that with our empty ones. Potion of healing too. And cooked chicken, delicious. So let's put on the helmet, which has respiration three. Hmm, interesting. So let's see. So now we've got full diamond armor, chest plate, protection, blast protection, and feather falling. Okay, cool. So now we have to get back down. So let's be careful because I didn't, I don't have a pickaxe, so breaking things is gonna be kind of tough. Let's start by having, um, yeah, we're gonna have some potion of healing just to be safe. I'm already down three hearts and, oh, okay. So let's see, maybe if I can grab on to all of the ladders I already built, I'll be okay. So let's see, there's some there and some over there. Maybe, maybe.
be. If I look over here and look down, let's get this one rock out of the way real quick. I don't have a pickaxe, so we'll just get rid of it like this. Like I said, I can rebuild everything for the Pyramid City citizens. Oh, and look, there's there's one of my uh, one of my ladders right there. So we're gonna. Oh, okay, I'm gonna jump and we're gonna aim for it and hope for the best. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. We only lost a few hearts that time. Now we're gonna head down this one. Oh, guys, we made it totally safe to the bottom. Only a couple scrapes and bruises. And look, the, the night statue isn't that badly banged up either. So I think we're doing a pretty good job. So, okay, I'm pretty confident we're going to Porsche City next. So let's take the train back that way. Okay, bye Pyramid City. I'm sure we'll be back soon. You're in a pretty cool place. All right, so we're gonna head this way, right through here. Oh, beautiful. And which track is which? Let's double check. So this one's going to Clock Town. Nope, that's not where we wanna go. And this one's going to Porsche City and Old McDonald's Farm, just the way we came. Oh, I guess I don't need any more. I've got a ton of mine carts. Oh, and there's already one on the tracks here, perfect. And we're off to where we came from. Let's go! Okay, back through the sandy dunes of the desert, by the water of the river, into the... Oh no, oh no, we're heading in the wrong direction. Oh, oh, okay, I'm gonna hop out of that cart and hop into this cart. Okay, and there we go, onward again. It'll take us a little bit of time to speed back up, but we'll get there. We're on our way to Parsha City! Yay! Oh, man. You know, I heard there's some people that can't read books when they're in moving vehicles. They get sick. They get motion sick. I don't experience that. I can read wherever and whenever I want. I feel very special. Oh, okay. Here we go. That didn't take long at all. We're here at Portia City. Let's look at the sign. Yeah, welcome to Porsche Town. Oh, right, it's only a town, not a city. A city is for big places where a lot of people live, while towns are for, for less amount of people. But, oh, there's a book here, so let's check it out. Uh, great work, smarty pants. I don't think he means that either. Hmm. Now, why don't you be a brave boy and retrieve the sword at the bottom of the well? It will certainly be helpful for addressing what lies in the house over there. When you've got the sword, you should pop it in the house with the silver door and get the hint to your next location. Ha 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 ha. All right, well, we'll take that book and put it in with our inventory. So, I guess this must be the, 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 the Smith's house, but he sounded like it might be dangerous inside. Let's, let's hurry up and take a nap. Okay, there's no bed in here. This is an empty house. I wonder where all the villagers are. Oh, I hope he didn't do anything to them. Okay, nothing in there. There's nowhere to sleep. Okay, there must be a different house. Because I'm too nervous to go inside that one. Oh, yeah, Porsche Town is really small. Okay, you know, I, I think I'm just going to have to go for it. But I'll do it next time, guys. It's been so much fun playing with you. Come back soon to see what happens. I'm going to see if I can get that sword at the bottom of the well and take care of whatever's in that house. Bye!